adding the MeshBeam plugin to your Windows application. For this video, I will show you how to add the MeshBeam plugin to your Windows application using Microsoft Visual Studio. By now, you would have already set up your publisher account with Clickster.com, downloaded the MeshBeam plugin from the publisher area, and installed it into your Windows computer. First, open your Windows application through Microsoft Visual Studio. Before you can use the MeshBeam control with Microsoft Visual Studio, you need to make it available within the toolbox. If you do not have it already turned on, you can turn on the toolbox by clicking View and then selecting Toolbox. Within the toolbox, locate the section that you wish to place the control. In that area, right-click and select the option Choose Items. Note, for some versions of Microsoft Visual Studio, this may be under the option Components. After making your selection, the Choose Toolbox Items window should open. In the Choose Toolbox Items window, first select the Com Components tab. Scroll down the list until you find MeshBean Control. Check mark the box and click OK. Once this is done, the MeshBean Control should be made available for any application that you develop through Microsoft Visual Studio. You should find the MeshBean Control added to your toolbox with the green bean icon next to it. To insert it into your application, simply click the control and drag it into your form at a location of your choice. Once you have placed the item, you will see the MeshBean Control active on your application. Once you have inserted your control, double click it and you will be able to see a variety of properties that you can set for it. Among those properties, there are a number of them that are required to be set. Those are ads type, background image, frequency cap, NID, PID, rect size, SID, token, and visible. The ads type refers to the advertisement format that you want to display. It can either be T for text, G for graphical, or P for pop under. With background image, you can select the default image that you want to display initially when no ad is appearing. Make sure that the image you choose matches the size and dimensions of the banner size that you want to use. With frequency cap, you can set in minutes the time interval between advertisement displays to a user while your application is open. The NID refers to your network ID. This would be given to you in your publisher area. The PID refers to your publisher ID. This is also given to you in your publisher area. If you are using a text or graphical banner, you need to set your rect size, which is the size and pixels that you wish to use for your banner. They are numbered 1 to 10, each of them referring to the various dimensions that you can have for a text or graphical banner. For more details on rect size, you can either refer to your documentation or to your publisher area. The size of your banner is restricted to these 10 sizes, and you cannot edit them for custom values. The SID refers to your site ID, which is given to you also in your publisher area. The token is a unique value for your control, which is associated with your site ID and network ID. This is also given to you in your publisher area. Finally, visible sets of the control is visible on the application. If you are using a text or graphical banner, set the value to true. If you are using a pop under, set the value to false. Once you have set these properties, you can rebuild your application and see MeshBean in action. Once you run your application with the MeshBean plugin installed, it will display relevant advertisements based on the user's recent web browsing history. The plugin is active only as long as the application is running. 
This completes the video tutorial for adding the MeshBeam plugin to your Windows application. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact your support at MeshBeam.com. Add the MeshBeam plugin to your Windows application and start earning revenue today.